Views, part two. In the earlier video, we learned how to add, delete, and rename the views. In this view, part two, we'll go ahead and show you how to work with slideshows. Slideshows allow you to be able to rotate through the different views that you have on your screen per the workspace that you're in. I'll also show you how to reorder your views, again, allowing you to be able to put them in the order that you want, whether that be for the slideshow or just in a layout so that it makes it easy for you to see what you need to. You can see at the top of my screen, I have multiple views or tabs across the top. Getting started, call history, the international queue, and the directory. Well, in order to see what's hidden inside of each of the views, I have to click on each one to be able to see that. There is an easier way. Where we can go is up top to view, and I can go to show slideshow. What this does is it filters or rotates through the different views or tabs that I have at the top. Every five seconds, it will go to the next tab. As we can see, we've got the international directory. In just a few seconds, we'll be on the getting started view. With the getting started view at the top, if you wanted to remove that from your rotating deck, all you would have to do is right click and click close view. In order to stop your slideshow from continually moving every five seconds, all you have to do is click show slideshow at the top and it automatically stops. If you happen to have certain alerts or thresholds set on some of your different views, this slideshow is a great way to be able to see those as they rotate throughout your screen. Another great way to be able to see what you have on your screen is actually dragging them and moving them to where you want. Let me go ahead and try that again. Drag and I will drop it wherever I see that shadow. I let go and I can place the queue here. If I want the directory right next door. All I have to do is drag till I see the arrows in the shadow. And again, it allows me to be able to see multiple things at once. This was on our workspace international travel. If I click on another workspace, you'll see that I have it arranged differently. I have my work group statistics at the top, a dial pad on the right, the directory and the queue. So you can make it as busy or not busy as you would like. You click on the customer service workspace. Again, very simple here. You can determine how much or how little you want to be able to see all at once. I do highly encourage using multiple workspaces and multiple views, no matter where you are when creating your screen. This has been another just-in-time short video on views.